Begin log one. Introduction. Snippets of poetry from the Imperium. A sample folktale from the oral history. Brief biographies of over a dozen Duncan Idahos. Two differing approaches to Paul Muad'Dib himself and to his son Leto II. Fremen recipes, Fremen history, secrets of the Bene Gesserit, the songs of Gurney Halleck. These are just some of the treasures found when an earth mover fell into the garden for his no room at Dar es Balad and are now included in the Dune Encyclopedia. Dozens of scholars have rushed into print with their translations of one or more of the Redulian crystals in the popular press on many planets has been filled with hypothesis, conjecture and outright fabrication. In the meantime, literally hundreds of scholars ranging from anthropolinguists and cultural historians to professors of every facet of science have been laboring quietly and patiently with the incredible amount of material left hidden by Leto II nearly 1800 years ago. The labors of the Library Confraternity have finally brought some order to the chaotic randomness of the no room artifacts. While only a very small percentage of extant material has either been unearthed or translated, and little has received any kind of scholarly evaluation, nonetheless, enough progress has been accomplished to present this initial volume of the Dune Encyclopedia. This book has been the work of literally dozens of scholars who have contributed their efforts so that readers on worlds from one end of the galaxy to another may finally have a clear, coherent picture of the legendary days of Paul Muad'Dib and his son Leto Atreides during his 3,500-year lifetime as the God Emperor. Readers of the Dune Encyclopedia should understand its limitations. It is not designed as a definitive study of the entire eras encompassed by the Atreides Imperium. Yet the thousands of descendants of Duncan Idaho and Siona Atreides can now, after the recovery of the deleterious effects of starvation and the scattering, learn something of their ancestors and the conditions that produced the God Emperor. They may also become aware of the undercurrents that resulted in his fall. However, if readers of this volume are searching for the formulae which cover the electronic intricacies of the Spacing Guild Translate Ixian navigational system, they will be disappointed. This type of material already exists elsewhere and need not be duplicated on these pages. Rather, it has been the aim of the editors and the Library Confraternity to present in this volume a broad spectrum of material concerning those events and people which shaped our present worlds. In addition, we may also consider something of the eccentricities of Lord Leto, who was solely responsible for accumulating, assembling, and secreting what is now known of the Rackus Horde. If Leto was interested in some topic, the material was saved. If he was not, its absence in the Rackus digs is obvious. Furthermore, if he was amused by some scrap of information, he preserved it, even though he, even though many contemporary scholars feel the information may have been false or misleading in the first place. We have made no attempt to separate Leto's truths from his foibles or to indicate which is which. Such judgments are best left to scholars or to the general reading public at whom this book is aimed. In addition, Leto assembled much of this material from the centuries post-dating the Butlerian Jihad, and we present some of it in this book, including newly discovered information about the hitherto legendary Jihan Butler, who gave her name to the Jihad she so nobly led. Thus, some of the entries in the Dune Encyclopedia were written by people who actually lived at the time of Muad'Dib. Others were prepared by contemporary scholars based on older materials, and still, other entries represent preliminary papers prepared by the many, many investigators at Da Es Balat. Selection of the final material was the most arduous, but the entire governing aim is to present a well-rounded picture of the early days of the Atreides Imperium as possible. I would like to acknowledge the specific contributions made to the Dune Encyclopedia by Grelida Miars and Critine Gutan, whose labours were singularly devoted. Professors Gwilet McNeil and Zazaf Klush 
contributed many hours to the book. Poet Rebeth Vrieb and her husband Rebeth Farnak were instrumental in helping sort out some of the voluminous material found in the hoard, and both gave unstintingly of their time and advice. In addition to my husband, Zenoif Benotto, was both patient and long-suffering. I owe him more than words can say. All of these people caught many errors that would otherwise have crept into the page of the Dune Encyclopedia, but final responsibility for the text must ultimately be my own. A quote from Hadi Benotto, the editor of the Dune Encyclopedia, 15540, after Guild. The introduction of the Dune Encyclopedia.